Chris Manimorte here. Um, today we're on Festa Patrol. Um, we came over to Ormit, uh, parish, one of the ten parishes of 1431. It was dedicated to St George, uh, 1739 I think it was. Um, this is in the middle of the island, uh, Ormit. It was uh, to St Bastian and St George. Today we're going to see St George. Um, four festas today, Boomerats, Morning Gozo, um, Oven Boomerat and Sujui. Sujui is another really nice festa, but I decided to come to Ormi. Um, we've been here about an hour before now, so we have to wait for the church to open and the statues about 7.30. St George. St George has got a really big history. And being a British guy, I always remember St George, St George and the Dragon. And there's a, a myth behind St George. Uh, I was reading about it, St George and the Dragon. Is it true? or not. Hi guys, uh, we're just walking into the church now. We could give you a few little bits of information about it. Um, the parish of St George. This is Ormi, um, just in the south, middle south of Malta. There's two parishes here, St. George and St. Bastion. Um, this church is the, one of the first of the 12 parishes in Malta from 1436. The church structure was built actually three times. The original parish church was demolished and a larger one built on the same site in around the mid 15th century. A larger reconstructed form was around 1585. And actually the church was consecrated on May the 6th, 1731. St. George, the legend of St. George and the Dragon. Um, he was a Roman soldier, born in Turkey around 200 AD and died around 303 AD. The myth of St. George slaying the dragons, because us Brits know St. George as a dragon slayer, um, is the patron saint of England. According to one of the stories, a town in Libya had a small lake with a plague of dragons. Living in the town, the people were gradually being killed off by this dragon. St. George, um, they called on St. George, he made a deal with the village people, if they converted to Christianity, he would kill all the dragons. Later they built a church uh, in honour of St. George, I think today it still stands. Um, St. George is the patron saint here of uh, Ormi, here is St. George you now. He's carried round the village, uh, you'll see him in front of the band in about sort of one hour's time. Okay, let's go back to the church now. I'll be going outside now and see the, the band coming out.
to subscribe please, thumbs up, thanks for watching. Uh, I won't have a chance to talk to you when we get inside because already there's loads of people coming up and the statue is coming up from the top there. Thanks for watching, I hope it wasn't too long the video. It's worth waiting to the very end though because very nice inside the statue going inside the church. Thanks, please subscribe. I mentioned to you uh, in the next video all the new subscribers. I hope you heard it on the band because it was making a lot of noise going past. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video. English Marimalta. Ciao.